For the new year, there's a new crop of movies and series streaming this week. I've got it all for you in my Wednesday home video report. What is this? Blood, symbols, ritual. Oh, my Lord. For new movies for the first week of the new year, Christian Bale is retired detective Augustus Lander investigating a series of murders in which macabre writer and poet Edgar Allan Poe is involved. The Pale Blue Eye debuts on Netflix on Friday. So, this is the top team. The rogue clones on the run from the Empire, huh? For new streaming series, the animated Star Wars spin-off series, Star Wars The Bad Batch, returns for a second season of all new episodes on Disney Plus now. Also now on Netflix, a team of safe crackers aims to break into the most secure safe in the country and even an old score in the drama Kaleidoscope. A crew of an offshore oil rig fights to survive when disaster strikes, leaving them stranded in the middle of the ocean. The rig comes to Amazon Prime starting on Friday. He's the main guy. He's going to play himself. Guilty as charged, Your Honor. Wow, that's weird. Action. Beam me up, Scotty. I'm in the Twilight Zone. On Peacock, one of the most unusual new shows of the week is Paul T. Goldman, which mixes fact and fiction to tell a somewhat true story about a husband who uncovers his wife's massive crime ring. Copenhagen Cowboy follows a young woman as she makes her way through the treacherous landscape of the criminal underworld in the capital city of Denmark. See it starting tomorrow. Also tomorrow on Netflix, there's season two of Ginny and Georgia, featuring a mother and daughter with a criminal past trying to settle down in New England. Those songs are so good. For new documentaries, Sometimes When We Touch looks at the rise, fall, and resurrection of the yacht rock music genre. Catch it on Paramount Plus now. And Netflix looks at the financial crimes of the fraudster and mastermind of America's largest Ponzi scheme in history. See Bernie Madoff, the monster of Wall Street, starting tomorrow. You can see more by scanning the QR code on your screen with your smartphones. That'll take you to a link for my current and past movie reviews and also home video pictures.